Hello everyone, welcome to Amarjyoti's Crochet World. Today I am here once again with my new tutorial. Today I am going to make a Christmas tea light candle holder. For making this tea light candle holder, obviously we need three colors of yarn. I am using acrylic yarn. This is the red color acrylic yarn and a green color acrylic yarn and a white color. Okay, so basic these three colors for making any Christmas object, right? But uh, because we are making it in an amigurumi or a doll form, so we need a skin color yarn, also a light beige color. Okay, so I am taking four colors of acrylic yarn, green, red, white and a light, um, light brown color or a beige color. Okay, so these four colors of yarn I am using. These all are acrylic color yarns, but uh, let me show you. I am using two types of white yarn. One is normal plain yarn and the other one is a fur yarn. Okay, fur yarn is used, I am using for uh, uh, the, the center hat and the uh, in between the designs and for making the tea light holder uh, in the hands of that uh, doll, we I am using this plain yarn so it's up to you you can use plain yarn only or the fur yarn okay whatever available with you okay now the crochet hook that i am going to use is 3 mm crochet hook okay we need a candle light uh, readily available you can have it a battery operated candle light or a wax candle light safety eyes these uh, safety eyes are about uh, uh, 9 to 10 mm um, safety eyes. Any size available with you. If no uh, safety eyes available, you can make with the embroidery with the help of a black yarn. A stitch marker. Uh, this uh, tapestry needle to sew all the parts and a pair of scissors to cut the ends. So basic, these things we need. Uh, the stitch marker we need because we will be working in spirals sometimes. So first of all we are going to start with the head or the face of your doll or the candlelight holder. For this I am taking this light skin color or beige color or light brown color whatever color uh, you are using. Baby pink color you can use also. The lightest pink shade. It's up to you. So for making Starting this, I am making the magic circle. Hold the end with your finger. Wrap it on your finger like an X. Like this. Okay. Now, from this part, insert the hook below it. Oops. Yes. Insert the hook below it and grab the yarn, the long yarn. So this is your magic circle. So once again I am showing you. Hold the end with your thumb and wrap it over two fingers or one finger. It's up to you. I am wrapping on one finger only. So holding the yarn with my thumb, wrapping clockwise on my finger making an X. You can see an X. This line is which is touching my finger and this is coming over it. This is the long yarn. Okay. So from this yarn which is which was touching my finger, I am uh, inserting my hook through it and pulling the yarn that was over it. This is the magic circle. Okay. Now this is the loop that is formed. Now you can hold it like this. Chain 1. Now this is the circle in which, this is the loop in which you will be working. We are making single crochet. So 6 single crochet I am going to make. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
six single crochet is done now pull this end and close this loop right now sing one single crochet in the first stitch because i am going to work in spirals so the single crochet i have made here this loop i am going to make uh, to mark with the stitch marker taking my stitch marker and mark this stitch this is your first stitch or the starting of the row so now row number 2 we are going to work two single crochet in each stitch so one single crochet are already i have done one more in the same stitch again two single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet in the next stitch like this we are going to work two single crochet in each of the stitches total stitch count will be 12 right 12 single crochets i have done now when you reach the last stitch remove the marker one single crochet in the first stitch and again mark this first stitch with your stitch marker now two single crochet in the next stitch row number 3 the sequence is one single crochet in first stitch and two single crochet in the second one single crochet in the first two single crochet in the next oops one and two right like this complete the whole row one single crochet in first stitch two single crochet in next stitch so complete it till end your total count should be 18 i reach the end of the row now remove the marker row number 4 one single crochet in the first stitch again mark the stitch with your stitch marker one single crochet in the second stitch two single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch two single crochet in the third stitch so the sequence will be one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet okay so complete it till end row number 4 the uh, total count after row number 4 will be 24 so i'll meet you at the end of row number 4 now row number 4 has been done remove the marker starting of row number 5 one single crochet in the first stitch again mark with the stitch marker one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and two single crochet in the fourth stitch okay row number 5 one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and two single crochet in the fourth stitch so your stitch count after row number 5 should be 30 so i'll meet you at the end of row number 5 one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet okay so i'll meet you after row number 5 okay this is the end of row number 5 total stitch count was 30 row number 6 one single crochet in the first stitch mark it with the stitch marker one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and two single crochet in the fifth stitch so your uh, sequence should be 1 1 1 1 and 2 one single crochet in first four stitches and two single crochet in the fifth stitch so total stitch count after row number 6 will be 36 one more time i am going to show you one single crochet in the first one in the second one in the third and one in the fourth and two single crochet in the fifth stitch okay so i'll meet you at the end of row number 6 your stitch count should be 36 now this is the end of row number 6 removing the marker total stitch count after row number 6 is 36 row number 7 one single crochet in the first stitch 
marking it with the stitch marker once again. I am going to mark one first stitch of every row so that your um, row can be identified the end of the row or the starting of the row okay so row number seven one single crochet in first five stitches and in the sixth stitch making two single crochet one have done one in the second one in the third one in the fourth and one in the fifth and two single crochet in the sixth okay so one single crochet in first five stitches three four and five and in the sixth stitch make two single crochet okay so this is your row number seven one single crochet in first five stitches two in the six and repeat till end your stitch count should be 42 so i'll meet you at the end of row number seven now starting of row number eight this time i'm not going to increase just one single crochet in each stitch mark the first stitch of each row one single crochet in each stitch no increase no decrease nothing just one single crochet in each stitch this will make the face of your doll okay one single crochet in each stitch your total stitch count will remain 42 like this okay so for the next 10 rows this is 8th row from 8 to next 10 rows I'm going to make one single crochet in each row okay so I'll meet you after the end of 10th row after this so it will be um, I think 17th row the end of 17th row or 18th row okay so next 10 rows i am going to make one single crochet in each of the stitches so i'll meet you at the end of 10th row after this now i have done 10 more rows after row number 8 and this is the end of row number 17 okay so it has taken like the shape like this at this moment i am going to attach the safety eyes and uh, let's take the safety eyes safety eyes and their locks at the back side right so what I am going to do is counting from the top in between the 11 and 12th row so this is your row number first this is the first row after that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 after 11 and in between the 11 and 12th row I am going to attach one of the eyes okay in between leave 8 to 10 stitches so let's count over here so here i have attached after that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 skip 8 gaps or 8 stitches in the ninth stitch i am going to attach the other eye like this okay now at the back side i'm going to attach the locks these are a bit tight that's it and the second one here at the back side so they are locked right now i have done row number 17 finish the row number 17 now row number 18 from row number 18 we are going to decrease our work so one single crochet in the first stitch mark this stitch as usual this is the starting of the row okay so one single crochet in uh, first five stitches and next two stitches that is six and seven i am going to make two single crochet together so one i have done already 
वन सिंगल क्रोशे इन द सेकेंड स्टिच वन इन द थर्ड वन इन द फोर्थ एंड वन इन द फिफ्थ वन सिंगल क्रोशे इन फर्स्ट फाइव स्टिचेस सिक्स एंड सेवन स्टिचेस टू सिंगल क्रोशे टूगेदर एंड दिस आई एम गोइंग टू डू इन विजिबल डिक्रीज सो इन विजिबल डिक्रीज ऑलरेडी आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट बट हेयर आई एम ऑल्सो अगेन शोइंग सो टेक द फ्रंट लूप ऑफ द फर्स्ट स्टिच फ्रंट लूप ऑफ द सेकेंड स्टिच यान ओवर एंड इंजर्ट द हुक थ्रू बोथ द लूप्स यान ओवर एंड मेक अ सिंगल क्रोशे सो दिस इज योर इन विजिबल डिक्रीज और टू सिंगल क्रोशे टूगेदर आई हैव डन वाइल मेकिंग एमी ग्रूमी इन विजिबल डिक्रीज इज डन ओके सो अदरवाइज वी कैन मेक इंजर्ट द हुक यान ओवर इंजर्ट द हुक इन द नेक्स्ट टर्न यान ओवर बट इट विल क्रिएट अ बम्प काइंड ऑफ दिस बट इट्स नॉट recommended while making an amigurumi or a soft toy so you have to do an invisible decrease so the sequence will be one single crochet in first five stitches 3 4 and 5 and two single crochet together in the next two stitches like this okay it's hardly visible when you decrease it so complete the whole row like this one single crochet in first five stitches and then two single crochet together one single crochet in first five stitches and then two, two single crochet together and reach till end you will end with two single crochet together so i'll meet you at the end of row number 18 okay now this is the end of row number 18 After decrease, our stitch count has decreased from forty-two to thirty-six. Okay, now row number nineteen. One single crochet in the first stitch, and again mark your first stitch with the marker. So one single crochet in the second, one in the third, and one in the fourth, and two single crochet together. so this row number 19 what we are going to do is one single crochet in first four stitches and then two single crochet together so one single crochet in first four stitches 3 and 4 and two single crochet together right one single crochet in first four stitches and two single crochet together till end you will end up with two single crochet together so your total stitch count after uh, row number 19 will be 30 okay so i'll meet you at the end of row number 19 so this is the end of row number 19 row number 20 one single crochet in the first stitch mark with the marker one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in first three stitches and two single crochet together fourth and fifth stitches to be made together so one in the first one in the second one in the third and two single crochet together fourth and fifth repeat till end so you'll get 24 stitches in total after the end of row number 20 so now the row number 20 has been ended remove the marker one single crochet in first stitch and again mark it with the stitch marker one single crochet in the second stitch and then two single crochet together one in the first one in the second then two single crochet together one in the first one in the second two single crochet together one in the first one in the second and two single crochet together one one then two stitches together one one and last two stitches left two single crochet together so at the end of this row our stitch count has come to 18 now i am going to remove the marker and making a slip stitch here chain 1 and finish it off so now i am going to finishing off this color and i'll be attaching red color yarn so let me cut the yarn and then we are going to finish it off
right this is the head or face part so i'm going to fill some uh, fiber filling inside to give the shape to your doll's head as i always say do not make your amigurumi overstuffed always try to stuff small quantities of filling this will help you to give it a proper shape to the uh, thing whatever you are making overfilling and underfilling will distort the shape of your project so fill it evenly fill it nicely and in small quantities uh i think so for the time being let's fill it this much because when we will start making the body uh, area then also we can stuff it so it will not be an issue this is just to give a shape to the head that's it right now let's take red color yarn and the stitch in which you have made a slip stitch i'm going to attach it over here chain 1 and single crochet in the same stitch so this time i'm going to make one single crochet in each of the stitches total stitch count will be 18 only no increase no decrease this is the first row with the red color this is your first row with red color yarn now i i'll be working in the spirals so the first stitch i'm going to make a single crochet and marking it with the stitch marker so now this was your row number 1 one single crochet in first stitch row number 2 again we are going to work one single crochet uh, in the each stitch so total stitch count will remain 18 with red color yarn again one single crochet in each stitch that's it so row number 2 has been done remove the marker row number 3 from here we are going to start a in increase so one single crochet uh, single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch and two single crochet in the third so total uh, our uh, sequence will be one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch and two single crochet in the third one one and two repeat till end your total stitch count will be 24 so i'll meet you at the end of row number 3 now this is row number 3 row number 4 remove the marker one single crochet in first stitch and mark it with the stitch marker one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and two single crochet in the fourth one 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 and two okay so after row number 4 your stitch count will be 
so i'll meet you at the end of row number four okay now this is the end of row number four remove the marker starting of row number five in row number five one single crochet in each stitch mark the first stitch and one single crochet in each of the stitches no increase no decrease okay one single crochet in each stitch total stitch count will remain 30 now row number six one single crochet in the first four stitches and two single crochet in the fifth stitch mark the first stitch with the stitch marker so one single crochet in first four stitches For, uh, one in the first one in the second one in the third one in the fourth and two single crochet in the fifth one 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 and in the fifth two single crochet so repeat till end your total stitch count after row number six will be 36 so row number seven from row number seven till row number ten next four rows i am going to work one single crochet in each of the stitches our total stitch count will be 36 okay so row number seven marking our first stitch with the marker so one single crochet in each of the stitches so this is your row number seven row number eight nine ten next uh, these four rows seven eight nine and ten i'm going to work one single crochet in each of the stitches so i'll meet you at the end of row number 10 so now this is the end of row number 10 now row number 11 one single crochet in first stitch mark the first stitch with the stitch marker one single crochet in second stitch one single crochet in third stitch one single crochet in fourth stitch and one single crochet in fifth stitch and in the sixth st stitch i'm going to make two single crochet so the sequence for row number 11 will be one single crochet in first five stitches and two single crochet in the sixth stitch one two three four five right and in the sixth stitch make two single crochet repeat till end and uh, your stitch count will be 42 after uh, row number 11 so i'll meet you at the end of row number 11 now row number 11 ends with stitch count of 42 remove the marker row number 12 one single crochet in each stitch right mark the first stitch once again so one single crochet in each stitch and total stitch count will remain 42 okay so now for the next 10 rows i am going to make one single crochet in each stitch so this is row number 12 up to row number 21 we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch it will uh, increase like uh, with the stitch count of 42 till uh, end okay so i will meet you at the end of row number 21 this is row number 12 and I'll meet you at the end of row number 21. Now I have done row number 20, uh, done row number 21 and uh, this much has been done. So now I'm going to make a slip stitch. What I'm going to do is because I am going to finish off this red color, then we are going to attach the white color and then green color. Okay. So we have two loops here. So in the back loop, I am going to make a slip stitch. Not in both the loops, just in the back loop. Because from this point, the, this row, we are going to work in a front loop and back loop like this. And I uh, will show you. So both loops I am going to separate now. So making a slip stitch in the back loop, not in the complete both the loops. Right? Now I'm going to take the white yarn that I told you. I'm going to take the fur yarn for this. Here in the front loop, attach your white yarn. 
if you are going to work with the regular plain yarn it's your wish but i am taking this yarn but this row we are we have to work in the front loop only okay in the front loop only not in the back loop just make one single crochet okay one single crochet in each stitch with the white color yarn only in the front loops your back loops will be left like this here we will be working with the green color yarn why i am doing so because this fur yarn is a bit uh, fluffy and uh, the stitches are not that much visible i use usually for uh, making the edges with that so in the edges we don't need to uh, see the stitches so that is why i am just working in the front loop only one single crochet in front loop only in the back loop i'll be attaching the other color that is green color okay so one single crochet in each of the front loop so finish it till end and slip stitch here and then finish off this color okay so i'll show you the uh, the green work green color yarn work also so i am going to finish this work then i'll meet you at the end of this row now i have finished off this work now here in the back loop attach the green color yarn chain 1 and single crochet in the same stitch okay so in the back loops only you are going to work one single crochet in each stitch make four more rows with green color yarn and then finish it off so i'll meet you at the end of fourth row after making this so this is the first row with green color and three more rows that is total four rows and finish it off so i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row now this doll has been done four rows i have made with green color and i have finished it off now let's make the base for uh, uh, at the uh, to here to cover it up so that we can stitch it and fill the stuffing in it and then hold it like this okay uh, it will be a standing doll so for for this again make a for the green color make a magic circle and chain 1 and six single crochet in the magic circle 2 3 4 5 6 pull the yarn and close the loop this time i am making a slip stitch in the first stitch not i am not going to work with this marker okay so slip stitch in the first stitch chain 1 and row number 2 2 single crochet in the in each of the stitches 2 single crochet in each stitch this is your row number 2 so your stitch count will be 12 after row number 2 slip stitch in the first stitch and close the ring now row number 3 chain 1 one single crochet in the same stitch two single crochet in the next stitch one in the same two in the next one in the same two in the next one in the same stitch two single crochet in the next stitch one in the same stitch two single crochet in the next uh, two remaining one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch so total stitch count after row number 3 will be 18 slip stitch in the first stitch row number 4 chain 1 one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next so 1 1 and 2 this is row number 4 one single crochet in first stitch one single crochet in second stitch and two single crochet in the third stitch and slip stitch in the 
finish this row with this sequence one one and two and finish it off till uh, this uh, end uh, last stitch and slip stitch in the first chain of uh, from this row so row number four so total stitch count after row number four will be 24 i'll meet you at the end of row number four so this is your row number four row number five is chain chain one and one single crochet in same stitch one single crochet in second stitch one single crochet in third stitch and two single crochet in the fourth so this time row number five sequence will be one 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 and two one single crochet in first three stitches and in the fourth stitch make two single crochet complete this row till end and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch so total stitch count will be 30 I'll meet you at the end of row number 5. Now row number 6, chain 1, 1 single crochet in same stitch, 1 single crochet in second stitch, 1 single crochet in third stitch, 1 single crochet in fourth stitch and 2 single crochet in the fifth stitch. So this time our sequence is 1 single crochet in first 4 stitches and 2 single crochet in the fifth stitch. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And in the fifth stitch, make two single crochet. This is row number six. And total stitch count after completing this sequence, we will be having 36 stitches in at the end. And slip stitch in the top of this first stitch. So I'll beat you at the end of row number six. So row number seven, chain one. One single crochet in first five stitches. One, one single crochet in the same stitch where I have made a slip stitch. One, two. 3, 4, 5. Okay. And in the 6th stitch, make 2 single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 single crochet in first 5 stitches. And in the 6th stitch, make 2 single crochet. So complete this sequence. 1 single crochet in first 5 stitches and 2 in the 6th. So complete till end and slip stitch in the top of first stitch. So I'll meet you at the end of row number 7. Now I have done row number 7. The total stitch count is 42. Here this, uh, this portion also having stitch count of 42. So we will be having slip stitch taking both the stitches together and uh, then com com cover this uh, part. Okay but first of all we have to stuff this doll with the fiber filling okay so take some filling and insert it inside the doll make sure your doll is having proper shape Right now I am leaving it this much uh, when I will make about uh, 30 stitches uh, together when I will cover it up about 30 stitches when I will finish then then I will uh, stuff some more stuffing inside that so okay so now take both the parts we are going to make slip stitch by taking both the parts okay now Take the stitch from that side and then make a slip stitch over here. One stitch from this side, the other stitch, both the loops from that side and make a slip stitch like this. Two loops of this side and two loops of this, that side. So taking both the parts, making a slip stitch. So in this way, I am closing the base of my doll because the stitch count is same so it will not be a problem it, though it looks that uh, the, this flat part I have made smaller one and uh, the flare of uh, this doll the body of the doll looks a bigger one 
but uh, stitch count is same taking both the stitches from both the parts and making a slip stitch about 30 stitches 30 32 whatever means this much uh, stitches I am going to come, uh, close and then we will stuff some more if required So now if more stuffing is required just stuff some more <clears throat> do not over stuff it just the required the sufficient amount of filling and then close it up and that's it a soft doll will be ready close the remaining stitches chain 1 and cut the yarn and then we will hide this yarn inside the work. And that's it. See your doll is ready. Right. Now we have to make the arms. So for making the arms let me show you. This is one arm I have made already so I'll show you how to make it it's very easy we'll be attaching arms here like this okay this one I have already made make the magic circle with green color starting with green color then white then red okay make the magic circle with green color chain one Six single crochet in the magic circle. Two, three, four, five, six. Pull the loop and close the ring. I'm going to work in spirals. So marking the first stitch with the stitch marker. Two single crochet in each stitch so total stitch count will be 12 okay two single crochet in each stitch total stitch count is 12 okay now this is this is row number two three four five and six next four rows I am going to work one single crochet in each stitch no increase no decrease just one single crochet in each stitch for next four rows okay so row number three four five and six i will meet you at the end of row number six one single crochet in each stitch so this is the end of row number six again i have made a slip stitch in the back stitch only and in the front loop we are going to attach this white yarn The same work that we have done for the doll, doll's body, the same we are going to work over here. 
so one single crochet in each of the front loop only okay so make one single crochet in the front loop only and slip stitch over here and attach the red color yarn in the back loop and then uh, make total 12 rows with red color okay so in total 12 colors uh, 12 rows with red color yarn and finish it off so i'll meet you at the end of 12 rows of red color okay okay now what i had done after uh, finishing off this white color yarn attached the red color yarn in the back loops only and then made one single crochet in each of the stitches till 12 more rows okay so this i have finished now here we are going to stuff the arms till the halfway not the complete one so we are going to fill in the hands stuff with the help of your crochet hook and then stuff till halfway only not till the shoulders just like till the elbows okay so only this much right because we are going to attach the hands like this these hands will be attached like this in this in this angle okay not 90 degree not this side rather here like this because it will be holding the candle light the tea light okay so attach both the arms on both the sides of the doll like this in this angle okay so i'll meet you in a while while see you after sewing this these both the hands now i have attached both the hands to the doll let's make the tea light holder uh, candle holder for me for this i am taking this white color yarn make a magic circle chain one and six single crochet in the loop two three four five six pull the yarn and close the loop make two single crochet in each stitch in row number two mark the first stitch and make two single crochet in each stitch this uh, in this case i am taking normal plain uh, white acrylic yarn you can take any color of uh, yarn also i am taking white color only row number 3 one single crochet in first stitch two single crochet in the next stitch one in the first two in the second one in the first two in the second one and two in the next one in the first two in the next remaining two stitches one in the first stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch so total stitch count is 18 row number four one single crochet in first two stitches and two single crochet in the third stitch one one two 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 total stitch count after row number four is 24 
let's see it will be okay just a second this is your so let us see if i make one more row it will be a bigger one so let me have it this much now next row i am going to work one single crochet in each stitch but in the back loop only okay so only in the back loop of the work okay make one single crochet in each stitch remove the marker now one single crochet in both the loops now you don't need to make in the back loop only just one single crochet in both the loops like this complete this row till here till the last stitch and finish it so i'll meet you at the end of this row leave a long tail because we are going to stitch this candle light holder this i'll hide this uh, tail also so it will look a bit tight but when it's inserted it will be okay yes that's it perfect right so we are going to stitch this in between both the hands okay take the needle and then stitch to one hand Oops, sorry from this side just a couple of times insert the yarn and then make it uh, secured that's it now attach it to its stomach as well so that it will not be loose from any side attaching over here in the stomach also just a couple of stitches that's it right and to the other hand also currently it looks like uh, a bit weird but when it's done it will look beautiful it will look perfect secure with the help of knots one or two knots whatever how many required is pc and then hide the tail in the work and 
cut the extra yarn. So let me finish it off. Taking my scissors and then finishing it off. And that's it. Oops, sorry. This is yes, and then it's done. Right now, we'll make the center head, and this doll will be ready. Only center head is left. Let's take red color yarn, making the magic circle. This whole work works with the magic circle only. Chain one. Two, three and four. Four single crochet in the magic circle. Slip stitch in the first stitch, chain one. One single crochet in the same stitch, two single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the last. So total stitch count after this row, row number 2, we have 6 stitches. Like this. Okay. Now, chain 1. 1 single crochet in each of the 6 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five and last stitch six and slip stitch in the first stitch. This is your row number three. Okay. Row number four, chain one, one single crochet in first stitch, one single crochet in second stitch and two single crochet in the third stitch again one in the first one in the second and two in the third and slip stitch on the top of first stitch chain one one single crochet in each of the eight stitches two three four five Six, seven, and eight, and slip stitch on the top of first stitch. Chain one, one single crochet in first three stitches. Two, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, make two single crochet. Again, one single crochet in next three stitches and two single crochet in the last stitch total stitch count will be 10 chain one one single crochet in each of the 10 stitches two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
slip stitch on the top of first stitch so in this way it is getting a pointy tail you are making it a long cap so that is why making like this chain one one single crochet in first four stitches two three four in the fifth stitch make two single crochet I repeat the same one single crochet in first four stitches three and four and two single crochet in the last or the fifth stitch total stitch count is 12 chain one one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve slip stitch on the top of first stitch chain one one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 after making this much we are going to work two single crochet in each stitch we have total stitch count of 12 now our stitch count will be 24 making a bit different kind of cap but our center will love it okay total stitch count is 24 right now chain one one single crochet in first four stitches two three four and in the fifth stitch make two single crochet one two three four and two single crochet in the next one two three and four and two single crochet in the next one two three four and two single crochet in the next one two three four and two in the next and slip stitch on the top of first stitch so in this row we are going to work in one single crochet in first four stitches three one two three four and in the fifth stitch two single crochet one single crochet in first four stitches three four and two single crochet in the fifth one two three four and two in the fifth so complete it till end your row count will be 36 okay this row finished with 36 stitch count chain one one single crochet in first five stitches and two single crochet in the sixth stitch so it's one two three four five and in the sixth two single crochet one two three four five two single crochet in the next okay one two three four five and two single crochet in the sixth stitch so finish up finish till end your stitch count will be 36 uh, 42 now your stitch count is 42 make six more rows with one single crochet in each row more six rows and then finish it off okay so i'll meet you at the end of the sixth row after this making one single crochet in each of the rows okay now i have made this much rows 
now attach the white color yarn and then make one more row and then finish it off and then we will be attaching this cap i am not making it uh, attaching it like this as the usual i am attaching it a bit tilted one and then we'll sew the top this like this attach it over here and then here i'll uh, attach a white tassel or pom pom on the top and then your cap will be santa cap will be ready okay so i'll meet you in a while one row of white color yarn on the corner and then attach this cap to the head by taking the corner folded and then attach a pom pom or a tassel small tassel over here in the top corner and then this cap will be ready okay so i'll meet you in a while so this i have attached this pom pom small pom pom over here and the white yarn over here and then as i have sewn the cap to the head so that it will not get off and apply the little blusher on the cheeks to make it uh, blushy and cute doll so it's a doll candlelight holder christmas doll candlelight holder is ready this amigurumi i know the video is a bit long but uh, it it's worth it i love this very much it's so cute so beautiful you can keep the uh, that uh, electric uh, that small battery operated light over here also so it will and you can attach it to the base so it will not get off so i have attached the real wax candle hope you like my video on making this beautiful and cute project for christmas it's a beautiful idea to for uh, giving gifts as well as to light up under your christmas tree the beautiful doll hope you like it please give it a thumbs up please like share and subscribe my channel and write in the comment section how you like my videos and uh, your suggestions are always welcome and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for each and every time i'll upload anything new and thank you for watching my videos thank you once again jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh